Hello and welcome along and welcome to a brand new challenge here on Virtual Farmer. We are on Six Ashes. This is GB Modding's fantastic new map. And uh, and yeah, we have no money. So, <laughs> this is uh, this is the survival experiment. What we're going to be doing uh, is we are starting with zero land, zero money, zero uh, equipment. Uh, we basically have to drag ourselves up by the bootstraps. Um, we are not allowed to get a loan on here. So no loans. Uh, I can lease both land and equipment. Uh, but uh, I'm going to try and avoid doing that. We've got plenty of equipment that we can do that. We might have to lease land to get ourselves moving a little bit faster. But we are starting from nothing. So in order to get somewhere today... What we're going to have to do is generate some cash and immediately the first thing we have to go to for that uh, is to do some uh, contracts. And the biggest contract we can get today is this one. So field six cultivating. Uh, for this first episode, we are basically going to get as many cultivating and plowing uh, contracts done as we can. And then I can, while we're doing this, I can tell you the setup that we've got on this map. So I'm going to borrow the items in this contract, uh, head back out, and they should be round the back here. Here we go. So uh, which field are we heading out to? Field six is where we are taking this mighty, mighty Steyr 3600 to uh, and, uh, and getting started. So we are playing on start from scratch. Um, obviously without any of the money on start from scratch. So absolutely nothing in our bank. And uh, and this should be an interesting series, I think. It'll be, all be about how quickly we can get ourselves our first tractor and our first equipment. Ideally, I would like to have a farm by the time of harvest. So field six, where are you? Uh, you are at the top. Up by the dairy farm is where we're headed. So let's head up that way. And uh, then we can get started and I can tell you more about this. So we're out the top end of the dairy farm and arrived at field six. Wow, this is a fairly large sized field. But mind you, we've got a fairly large sized uh, cultivator on this. So we should be able to get this done fairly swiftly. Let's fold this out. Lure it down. And away we go. So we are applying um, a fair few uh, realism uh, type things on here. So we've got things like the, uh, the manual attach and bits like that uh, to go on here which uh, should work pretty well for us. Uh, we also are doing uh, various other bits. We've got realistic seeds and things like that. We have probably the most realistic uh, geo that I've ever found on here. And we're, we're going to be playing with that. So this is the Lincolnshire geo. And as you can see, uh, the harvest times for wheat and barley are more realistic for the UK oats as well, canola, sunflower. So I'm liking this geo a lot. I'm hoping it's not going to be a uh, wet geo for us. But it should, it certainly looks like it's going to run uh, roughly what I'm after. Uh, as I said, we are, we're allowed to lease equipment and land, but not allowed to borrow money. So we basically, at the moment, uh, we need to stay out of the negative because anything, anytime we go into the negative, we, we're in trouble because we have to then do a contract or do something to get ourselves out of it as quickly as we can. Let's get around. And bring it in. Uh, this field, oh wow, this field is going to take us a while. It really is. So, uh, yeah, my hope is that we can get this done. My hope was that we could get this done fairly quickly. I'm not so sure about that. We have uh, we have a six-meter cultivator here to do this. 
and uh, what must be the biggest field on the map. And this is the trouble, is that you get uh, these big contracts often require a lot of work. We might have been better off with the plow contract for 2000, but we need to, as I said, we need to get ourselves uh, a load of money very, very quickly. Uh, if we can do that and get ourselves off the ground. The thing is, we can't do any kind of spraying or seeding or anything like that contract without having uh, earned some money first. Because if we haven't earned any money, we can't buy any fertilizer or anything like that. But one of the contracts I'm really keeping my eye out for at the moment is a potato planting contract. Uh, those are always worth a ton of money. Um, yes, you have to buy a load of uh, seeds to do it, but uh, because of the time they take, you end up getting an awful lot of cash for them. So uh, that's what I'm looking out for there. But here, this one is uh, is not too bad. We, uh, we should be able to position ourselves fairly well for it, uh, get this going, and, uh, and yeah, I think I'll pick it up maybe about midday-ish here in game. And, uh, and see exactly how far we've got across this field. The time is just rolling up to midday and we are over a third of the way through this field. It is fairly slow going, but uh, we are getting there. Uh, this is gonna give us a good basis well, for continuing, I think to get the tractor that we, well, a tractor we can afford, uh, we need about thirteen thousand. Uh, we can uh, we can get a tractor for around that. We can actually get a tractor for less. There's an old grey Fergie that I could buy for less than that. But uh, I want to go for a different one. I've got a, a, a different tractor in mind that should be a good all rounder for us. Has a, a front loader on it. Has a little bit more horsepower. I think I think it has about 110 horsepower. The tractor I'm looking at. Uh, first, though, it's going to be one of those things where we want to try and get as much capital behind us between now and harvest season opening as we can. Uh, harvest is where we're going to make money. Without a doubt, we will make money around harvest. Uh, the more fields we can harvest, the better. Uh, so uh, we're going to keep keeping an eye out on that. And harvest is always a pain for uh, contracts because we're, we're the way we're doing missions on here is we can only take one contract at a time. So if five harvest contracts come up at once, we can only take one of them, finish that, and then move on to the next one. So there's no multi uh, multi mission contract stacking that we're doing in this series. We, we have to do one contract, complete that, do the next contract, complete that. We, we can't ever uh, roll around. That is going to be interesting during harvest. But I think we might get contracts on the first day and not on the second and things like that. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be one of those things to watch. But it's the other advantage of doing a series like this and having something like this is we're going to get to see a lot of this map. Um, one of the nice things about this map is it has contracts and missions everywhere. So we're going to be able to do a wide, wide variety of stuff on here. And, uh, and hopefully with our own equipment as things go forward. Um, I, one of my early aims actually is to get a farmyard. Uh, I want to get somewhere where we can base ourselves pretty early on. Now, while I don't have any equipment, it's not such a problem, but uh, once we get to the point where uh, we have equipment and need somewhere to store it, we want to find me out. There's a couple of places that would do us. Uh, the allotments it would be a good place to do it. Uh, those are pretty inexpensive, to be honest, and uh, um, uh, would, uh, would be a good place to go. The other place, which would get us started really well, I think would be down here Pineview Farm uh, it comes with the field so we could lease it uh, but it's only 125,000 uh, somewhere like the abandoned farm we can't really do that's 235 but we could lease Pineview Farm with a single field Oop, of course uh, with its single field and, uh, and and actually be pretty good there 
kind of depends on what's planted there. Uh, I don't want to buy it too early uh, because we obviously want to avoid having to buy a cedar and, and everything this year if we can until we can get through that first harvest. But yeah, Pineview Farm I think is going to be a, a really, really good place for us to base ourselves. He's is also the location of the pigs. And pigs in seasons are prolific. So if we want to make money um, with animals and stuff, we can get pigs in there. Uh, we can uh, we can do bees. Uh, we could use field quarter one for planting trees and, uh, and doing uh, bees with global company mod, bringing money in that way. Basically, it's going to be a case of maximizing the land that we've got. Uh, and making as much money as quickly as possible as we can off it. We're 95% of the way through the field now and it's 10 to 6 in the evening. Um, but this is going to give us a good amount of capital to get started with. Uh, should have about th well, I think we're going to have about £3,000 after the initial uh, leasing cost of this tractor. Um, I've been having a big think while I've been doing this field. Lots of ideas rolling around in my head as to how we can uh, proceed on this series. And, uh, and I think my initial idea of doing the pigs, while not massively far off, I think there is a better way we can do this. Basically, we're looking to try and get, as quickly as possible, a good daily income. Now, a lot of that we can get from this and doing contracts. And we're going to be doing a lot of contracts early on. But one of the nice things about seasons and horses is that horses don't cost you anything. You're running a livery stable. And that means that as long as you can ride the horses, because we won't have the horse helper on if we do this. Uh, as long as you can ride the horses and keep the horses and healthy and everything, you will get a daily income. So I think we're going to look at possibly getting one of the horse stables and doing that. And I, th I think horses are one of those things in farm sim that has not been explored that much. Um, and, uh, and certainly, for what we're trying to do here would be a perfect way for us to earn a good daily amount of money so uh, it would also so it would also allow us to maybe get a really cheap tractor so something like one of the grey masses I know initially I said I wasn't going to go for that but if we're setting up a stable we're going to want a little tractor to sort of do around the yard uh, something with a front loader something that uh, uh, that we can cut grass with as well uh, you know, something with a, a little bit of uh, enough power to be able to pull a mower behind it. And I think the Massey, the grey Massey pack does come with a mower that we can use to, to cut field 17 and make hay. Uh, and we'd be looking to do that fairly on as, early on as well. And that pack, the beautiful thing about it, is we could run a stable with that grey Massey pack really, really cheaply and build ourselves up. Uh, to a, a nice little amount of money fairly early on uh, and then we can look at possibly getting a, a combine and doing some uh, some contracting with combine there we go we finished this contract um, and uh, and and be just in such a really good position with it so uh, yeah I think I think that that is going to be a, a really great way for us to go and I think we'll look into that a little bit more um, as things go. Because that is, yeah, anything anything that's going to give us a daily income on here is going to be really, really important. Uh, we need to get this tractor back to the shop. So uh, that is exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, it's getting quite dark here in game now. Yeah, through the cow yard. And back to the shop and we can get our first contracting money and see where we end up on this first day. I think this is going to be a really good, really decent start. And so here we are back where we started. We'll go drop this around the back so that we can claim our 
money. Turn that off. First contract complete. 3,200 minus 1,000. Wow. This is, this is why we want to get our own equipment doing this stuff. Collect that. And that is our first £1,976 uh, off here. It's got us start, started. Uh, we uh, are ending where we began. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.